Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Death Gate. Uh, where we last left off, there's a tentacly monster here who's trying to diddle me. Um, just trying to make sure this game music isn't too loud. So, I tried to possess it earlier, and that made me accidentally fall and die and live my life as a tentacle creature. Uh, and in between episodes, I realized maybe I was right. Maybe actually I do need to be latched on in order to cast a spell. Like if I go, there we go. And now that like there's multiple tentacles onto me, that'll make it easier to hold my body as I cast this spell. So I won't drop myself. Okay. Uh, while you cast the spell, the tentacles wrap around you and start to drag you underneath the path. You don't worry because you figure that as soon as you blah blah blah. The familiar darkness takes over... no. Shit. Well... Hold on, is, can I get more? Okay, yeah, so Max is out at four tentacles. Man, I really thought, like... Get myself completely latched on like that would have been the answer. Mm. I don't think any of this stuff's gonna ha gonna help. Oh, put the pendant on. Cool. I feel better. Was there um an old nursery rhyme or something? back here that could help. Why do I still need the Brotherhood Journal? Uh, that guy's... I don't... Oh, I don't have the Children's Rhymes anymore, because I gave it to, um... The old lady, as she... Told him to hold on to the snake. I don't use Necromancy or anything like that, would I? Do I have these runes? Could I even cast Necromancy if I wanted to? Oh shit, could I? Resur- that's re that's a resurrection, right? Yeah. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the tentacle isn't a dead body. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I was thinking maybe a, I can't resurrect the the double because he is completely ash. Can I animate it? Because I was thinking maybe I need something else to walk through the tentacles for me. Right? That way, whatever monster grabs all of this instead... I don't have a way of... You know, I keep doing possessing. Maybe maybe it's just a, uh, a swap. Hold on. Let me get it all wrapped up. Mm, mm, hot. Can I just swap it? Swamp. It has... It's not a higher life form, so it has no effect. Right, so that's not it. I still feel like it should be... Do you want any of this stuff? Why do I have so much junk? Okay, think, dear, think! Clearly, I have not ever gotten to this part of the game before. I can't really make it hungry, as I'm sure it already is. I'm at the try everything on everything part of the game. Null water, self immolation. I can't transport because I don't have a disc. Motion doesn't make any sense. Although I wish I had something that could motion its way through there. 
Which handbook is this? The Kixie Winsy handbook? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Why do I have so many books? Yeah, there's the floating pass back there. We might be here for a while, folks. I, I mean, I could just start going down the list. Not the most exciting thing in the world. Shroud of Darkness, I can't do anything with that. Can't really possess them. Zipnav, help. Are you I'm off again. You help. What did you expect to happen? Without I the don't know. pieces, it doesn't do anything. Unless you were going up there to give a speech. In that case, proceed. And I, I just shut up. Ah, there's fucking tentacles, dude. What do you want from me? Dead body? I ain't bringing any with me. Uh, there's so many books. I still feel like I'm supposed to do something after getting slightly tentacled. Like, after it grabs me, can I make myself... can't believe that possession wasn't it. Really felt like it would have been there. You'll never take me alive! Bzzz. Like an artist, you carefully draw the rune structure into the chest. Blah, 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 blah. Got him. Didn't get eaten. That shows him. Look, this is, this is the episode where we're stuck by hentai. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't supposed to. Maybe I wasn't supposed to blow him up. Maybe I needed him to come here so he can get tentacled. Can I scoop you up? Animate the the boots. Not not even resurrection. Just move. Can I do anything to a pile of ashes? This is probably not. Really, really need to look. The whole monster lives beneath the path. Does that matter? Can I do anything to shit below me? Let me think. I tried to shear it. Hold on. Ah, uh, suck shear! Oh. You saw away with the rusty garden shear blade. It cuts into the tentacle wrapped around you. Icker spurts everywhere, but most of the tentacle remains. Again! Yeah, just cut him up. Oh, you finally managed to split the tentacle you've been sawing on. It falls away, but one still remains. Do I just keep cutting? Sawing away, Icker spurting everywhere. It's getting harder to resist. Ah, keep cutting, keep cutting. I got shears for days. Yeah, I got another one. Help. <laughs> nope, got me. Fuck. So it wasn't even cutting it with the shears. I felt like that was a good idea. I don't know, man. Here. 
It's a dwarf. Eat him. The tentacles much rather of you instead. I know. I'm trying to not let that happen. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. Well, you're not an illusion to unravel. You're already hungry. Possessing it just causes me to die. And I can't... I, there's no way for me to possess it without immediately getting grabbed and dropping down below, right? If I... Yeah, yeah. After the single cast, like, I'm already plummeting. So it has to be, like... You mean being held on doesn't do it? God damn. Anything in my notes? I don't think I had any notes in here that talked about tentacly monsters. I have all the, the the demon names written down. Not the demon names, but the the uh, Sartan guys. I've got that still. You want a book? I don't have a heat. Some of the slime in the ichor bubbles, but it doesn't stop the tentacles from flailing around. If anything, it makes them more frantic. I realize it's just been an episode of uh, a lot of nothing, and <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh... Can I cut? Cut. Cut. So, like, I am able, able to cut through it. It's just slow. Can I shoot it with, like, an arrow? <laughs> Do a wield. Actually, hold on. Do a wield? Do you knock... You knock out the connected bolt from one of the blades and slap them together. The result is a complete set of garden shears. Oh! Instead of... Oh, I only just now realized I've been using one half of garden shields and just sawing it. I, for whatever reason, never connected that in my brain. Now I've got complete ones. Snip? <gasps> snip? Snip! With a quick snip, you cut the tentacle away. The ichor-covered stump draws them back onto the path. Along with the remainder of the tentacles, the creature has evidently had enough. That's all I had to do? I didn't, I don't know why I never thought of it. Can I combine anything else? Super bow? No. Um, fragments? The necklaces? No. Um, super book. All right, that was worth a shot. All right, sorry that was what, like 15 minutes of nothing. Oh shit. The floating island is suspended over the center of the vortex. A circular platform in the center has four spires along its perimeter. You come upon Lord Zar, standing in the center of the island. He holds all of the seal pieces in his hands and is closely examining the focus. Off to one side, you see Sangdrax in your form, watching patiently. On your arrival, Zar's head snaps up and regards you in shock and surprise. What are you, some kind of phantasm born of the vortex? I can feel the wild magic around us. Are you part of that? Uh, at this point, remember everyone, we are at three haplos. Me, fake haplo, and then double haplo. 
I am no phantasm. I am the true Haplo. Your companion is a dragon who has taken my form to trick you into destroying the world. He has tried his best to keep me from following you here, but here I am. You must stop what you are doing, my lord. The Reformation will not be what you expect. Many will die, including our own race. My lord, it's obvious that this is some trick, some manifestation of the Vortex's wild magic. Why it spouts lies to stop you from claiming your rightful heritage, I don't know. But don't spare it a thought. Continue with the ritual, and I will deal with my double. I feel like Zar is more likely to listen to Evil Hoplo than me. Because I'm like, Lord, don't do it. It's all bad. And Sangdrax Hoplo is like, Lord, this is your rightful place and your true power and destiny. Don't you want this? And Zar's going to be like, uh, yeah, I want it. What you say makes sense, my son. But something about this doesn't ring true. Can you prove your words? Are you the real Haplo? Or is this, as my companion claims, just a hollow trick? Yeah, how are you going to prove it? It's no trick. I can prove I'm Haplo. Remember our conversation about heart runes? They name us. They give us our magic. They are the center of our beings. If they are torn or broken, we fall ill. We cannot function. I show you mine, unbroken. I challenge my double to do the same. You rip open your shirt and reveal your heart rune. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing a bit. Hold on. One second. Hold on. Hold on. It's for a bit. One second. Hold on. Hold on. Of course, Master. I can't prove it's me. Uh. <laughs> of course I can show you my heart room. And why not? After I've done so, I'll eliminate this annoyance so that you can complete the reformation undisturbed, Lord Czar. I live only to serve you. With the promise of death in his eyes, he rip opens his shirt. Only when he has done so, does he realize his mistake. The wound taken from Zifnab's dragon slashes across his chest straight through his heart rune. Not only is the rune broken, much of it is missing. Mmm, Seamaster? I'm the real Haplo. Sorry, is that too much? I feel like that might be too much. It's a good bit. All right, make sure you uh, subscribe for more top tier comedy such as that. Oh fuck, he's pissed. Uh, so much for subterfuge. I prefer to be direct anyway. My lord, you will complete the reformation. If you do not, I will kill you. It's your choice. Sangdrax screams in fury and Zara motions for you to join him inside the circle. No sooner have you positioned yourself alongside your lord than Sangdrax hisses at both of you, his eyes glowing blood red. Very well, dragon. I will continue the reformation, but only because it suits my purposes as well. Zara stares at Sangdrax as if seeing him for the first time. He stands for a long moment and considers, then finally speaks. Excellent. Get on with it then. Zara takes a moment. <laughs> Zara takes a moment to ponder his options, then carries the fire seal piece to its spire counterpart. Quickly, he slides the piece into the monolith's face. The very s the very second the entire island outside of the protective circle where you stand erupts in flame. A storm of fire swirls and batters the ground. Sangdrax, caught in the sudden maelstrom, screams in agony. You quickly lose sight of him behind the curtain of flame. Oh yeah, remember when they... They were talking about anytime you put the seal piece into the different spires, like whatever element would just. So we just scorched his ass. Ah! That should take care of our friend, eh? Tell me what's happening here, Haplo. Quickly, if you don't mind. It seems that I have been misinformed. The Reformation is not what I wished it to be. I must change my plans. Can we top stop the inferno, maybe? We will bring about the interconnection. The worlds cannot survive without it. But the Sartan's strength is severely depleted. It is as nothing compared to ours. After we have connected the realms, we shall invade them, wipe them clean of the Sartan influence, and take our rightful place as rulers. Um, this still seems a little evil. Attend me, my son. I've placed the focus over the starting rune of the Reformation. While you gather the remaining seal pieces, I have to move it back to the interconnection starting rune. 
I'm lucky that my research indicated which rune this was. Otherwise, I might not know how to bring it about. Zar squats over the focus, scans the surface of the floor, and prepares to move the floating frame to another room. Oh wait, hold on. Are these these guys? I wrote this all down. Oh hey! What's up? Suddenly, Sangdrax's head bursts through the curtain of flame. He has reverted to his original form, that of a fire-breathing dragon. A form completely impervious to the effects of the storm swirling around him. He looses a tongue of fire at Zar's chest. The blast leaves nothing but a blackened hole, and Zar slumps to the ground, dead. Now it's your turn, patron. Unless you decide to be more cooperative than your master. One second. One second. Oh, you're very dead. I'm gonna. What? I need to save the game. One second. We're gonna call this one. Eek! Okay, so. He's gonna breathe fire, right? Can I douse his flame or a flame with water? Sangdrax watches you approach the spire. Familiar now with the end result, he decides to stop you. The dragon rears back and prepares to blast you with a torrent of fire. You leap forward and press the seal piece into the indentation. It crackles and it fixes itself to the spire. The firestorm surrounding the protective circles replaced by a deluge of water. The dragon chokes back his attack with a comic hurdle and disappears behind the sheets of rain. Is that right? 20 points! I did it. Okay, um, but now as I, if I keep putting these in, they'll, he, he's like still there though, right? Like if I put this in, he's going to show up. Sangdrax in the form of a giant gelatinous worm crawls effortlessly through the sheets of water. Despite its low speed, it'll be on you in moments. You press the seal piece into the earth spire that crackles and fixes itself to the indentation. The water stops falling, changes into rocks and boulders. They smash into the worm and stop it in its tracks. Soon you lose sight of it behind the curtain of falling earth and rocks. But did I do it good? Now what form do you take? Hold on, wait. You hear an almost rhythmic thumping and squishing of stone and earth striking the sickeningly soft body of the sea slug. Then it stops, the falling stone strike only the ground as if the worm suddenly disappeared. Hello? You peer into the curtain of falling earth, and you see the smoky tendrils weaving their way in and out of the stone projectiles. Even when one manages to strike the vaporous form, it only dissipates for a moment, and then a ghost-like dragon reforms. A pair of red glowing eyes are the only constant. They float slowly through the earth storm toward the protective circle where you stand. So it just made himself into ghosts, so I can use air to blow your ass away! The rocks and boulders fall straight through Sangdrax's vapor vaporous form. Slowly, ominously, he flows towards you. You set the seal piece inside the air spire's indentation. It crackles and it fixes itself there. The rocks stop falling, but gale winds rage around the protective circle. It feels as if you're standing in the eye of a tornado. The ghost dragon is caught in this wind. The wind scatters his smoky form until it vanishes. Go away forever? Wait. The winds have scattered the ghost dragon for good, it seems. You can't find a trace of Sangdrax anywhere. Perhaps this storm has finally taken care of him. Yeah, I guess that has wind. Like, he just pulled apart and separated in the torrent. Um. Zar? Ah, shit. Somewhere deep in the wind, winds, you see a lar shadow rising from the ground, growing larger and larger. You recognize the silhouette even from here. It's Sangdrax's original form, that of a fire-breathing dragon and you are left without any elemental storms to hurl against them. Uh, undo. Okay, I only have so much time. Hold on. Zar! Buddy? Wake up! You cast the intricate spell of the still warm corpse of, lord, of your lord, 
You sense a rushing of air, and suddenly you see Zar's spirit pulled into his body like water down a drain. His eyelids flutter open, and he stares directly at you. Although he appears to be aware, there is no life in his eyes, and his face is without expression. Somewhere deep in the winds, you see a shadow rising. Yeah, Sangrax got it. Help! The heart, the heart, the heart. So, Patriot, are we done playing this game? I'm weary of it, and you are without ammunition. It's time for you to die. Uh, uh, I wrote this down. Okay, okay. Dar keeps repeating the same phrase over and over. Maybe it's something to do with the huge hole in his chest. No, no, no. He means a heart rune. Hold on. Uh, I wrote this down. The heart was the weird check mark looking guy. Not any of these. Hold on. Um. Damn it. I, dude, this is going to be hard. I might have to load the game just so I have more time to figure this out. Can I put this in here? You slam the next seal piece into the focus. A column of red fire pours down through the frame and onto a room below. The fire spreads throughout the platform and ignites the spell. Unfortunately, the spell of reformation. Whoopsie doodle! Wrong, my pets. I'm Maybe I'll keep you alive in the chaos of sure to follow. Until I need you, though, I think I'll leave you here in the vortex. I've got quite a bit to do. Sangrax flies away, leaving you stranded here to contemplate your fate and that of the world with only the corpse of Zar for company. This has not been a good day! <laughs> <laughs> Bad day. Okay, hold on. Um, I, I feel like this is the end. This might be an extended finale episode. All right, so he just says the heart, the heart, the heart, over, and the heart was Orsef, that Hartan, and I wrote down his room. Um, hold on, let's let's eek again. Okay, cast. No, sorry. Uh, we need to shove the water seal piece in. That'll blast him away. Can I use this time to... Resurrect Zar? Alright, summer in the driving rain, you can hear the pop and sizzle of Zank Direct's fire being dialed. We also hear squishing and sloshing of a shape changes. The heart, the heart, the heart. <laughs> He's kind of a doofy looking worm. Alright, I got really lucky with these. Alright, smash you with rocks. Oh, so I need to move the focus. That's what I had to do. Alright, move the focus. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I should have. I should have. Drew, like, where it is on this fucking board. Is it that guy? That's kind of checkmarky. I have that book still, right? Hold on. I gotta read a book. Which one was the Czar's book that he was reading? Was it the history one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. One second! Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, okay. I moved it to this rune up here. I think that's right. The heart, Orsev. Nope, I was wrong. It's this one. Thank God. Okay, got it. Alright, so now he's here. I can use the... I'm running out of time again. I can blast him with air. Got him. And then I move the focus over to... This guy. Not this one down here, but this one up here. Got it. And now I put the Nexus seal piece in there. Hey, man. You're all out of seal pieces, <laughs> patron. <laughs> Graphics are awesome, guys. <laughs> 256 I've got cars. one more, dragon. Got him.
When you when drop the Nexus oh. seal piece into the focus and ignite the interconnection spell, magic flows through the runes of the island and connects the elemental spires. Sang Drax, unwisely attempting to break through the magic field in order to stop you, confronts the brunt of its power. It proves to be too much, even for the incarnation of evil, and the explosion hurls him into the swirling vortex, hopefully never to be seen again. You've connected the five realms. Perhaps now the worlds can function as planned, and their inhabitants can not only survive, but flourish. Yet, you ponder one particular unrealized goal of your lord, namely the release of your people from the labyrinth. With time, and the aid of the Sartan, you may be able to see this dream fulfilled. But that must wait for another day. Why? Are you teasing a sequel that never happened? You've completed Deathgate. You've saved the realms from a fate worse than death. And while doing all of this, you scored 1,500 out of 1,500 points. Congratulations. Yes! I am the greatest Deathgate player that's ever lived. I beat Deathgate! Yay! I've never beat Deathgate! It took me 26 years! Ugh. But I did it! Uh, wow! That was a heck of a end sequence. Damn, that was awesome! I think the uh, mirror itself immolation was like one of my favorite puzzles. I like the whole brotherhood part. Oh, There's so much good stuff. Wow, what a good game. Um, ending at 1500 or 1500 points, is it possible to beat the game at not 1500 points? Like, I don't know if there's anything you can do, any optional stuff to miss where you don't have max score. I feel like I crushed it though. Damn. I'm, I'm so happy. That's like, that was like exactly what I wanted. Uh, I mean, it's just, this, this is like my kind of speed of game. Just, just feeling that right now. The voice acting, the interaction, like this kind of stuff was so good. I loved it. I'm just, I'm very, very pleased. That felt, I felt awesome. Uh, the Sangdrax battle at the end. Um, I like, I actually like that you basically have so much time to uh, stop everything. So I wonder if, so I know some things in this game are random. If you recall in the Brotherhood, the um, the puzzle to open the door by pressing the hands, when you open that that do the little window up above the bed to see what island is out there, that's your clue as to which um, w which uh, sequence of hand presses you're supposed to use. So I. Here's your uh, voice cast, by the way, in case you're wondering. So basically, uh, um, so like that that part's like a little bit randomized. So I'd imagine then at the end with Czar, when he was like the heart, the heart, it's possible that he could also say you know the hand, the hand, or the soul, the soul, or whatever, and you had to find that proper rune. Like that could be random. Glad I wrote that down. This was like a... This was a solid voice cast, too. Like, how is this voice acting better than, like, Trials of Mana? <laughs> oh, that's it. We're back to, um... The sea prompt. Just ends the game. Alright, well... Uh, that'll do it. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this whole playthrough, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had an awesome time playing it. Uh, that's it. Now that's finished, you can watch the whole thing. Uh, tell your friends about it so they can enjoy it too. Uh, that would mean a lot to me and maybe they would appreciate it. And as always, thank you all so very much for watching. See you next time. Illegal command! Ah.